I will present a very short uh, outline of uh, the landscape of Russian open access and as it's not that much to tell you about, it will be filled with pictures and will look like uh, comics. So uh, it is called Russian Quest for Open Science and it is really a quest because you are roaming over the uh, our, my, my vast, uh, very big country and knocking at the closed doors and uh, no, no, no replies. So um, uh, I represent National Electronic Information Consortium and there are a few words about it. We exist this to, since 2002 and we are not non-commercial. You can see that we've got lots of members and uh, this is the splitting of the members over type of libraries, universities, research centers and public li libraries. And we started with traditional licensing. We were members of Eiffel and uh, also we are members of, um, a member of ICALC. And I have to say that we succeeded a lot in developing very well um, uh, organized system on, uh, of support of scholarly information in Russia because most of resources are funded now, subscription to most of key resources uh, is funded now by the governmental bodies, so it's very good for our libraries. But step to step, uh, step by step, we started to diversify our, uh, our activities and um, we now support uh, electronic publishing, we support Russian journals, we execute program uh, by the Ministry of Russian um, Federation, uh, Ministry of Education and Science of Russia in supporting and promoting Russian journals into global indices. So, and now we, we moved to open access. And there is a list of activities uh, which we performed, and I have to say that we are not, now we are not the members, uh, a member of Eiffel, but we are considered by Eiffel to be among Eiffel alumni. So, um, uh, and the, the, there are a few slides in Russian um, just to illustrate our activities. This is a web page of our electronic publishing system. Also, we, uh, we um, keep, uh, w this is our electronic publishing, this is our system of archives, because our ministry purchased uh, archives of 11 uh, key publishers, and we volunteer um, host uh, all these uh, millions of articles now on our platform. And this is our project with, uh, we've got two annual conferences uh, for librarianship every year. And uh, th this one is uh, Armenia. So you are, all of you are invited, uh, are welcome. And also we, uh, as I told, we um, support development of Russian, Russian journals. Um, so Russian landscape is very poor because there is no OA policy, no governmental initiatives, no governmental support, and all our applications, proposals, concepts, letters, and appeals have been rejected. And the latest one, uh, uh, could you move it? Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry for, because I checked it and it seemed to me, maybe it makes sense to make it, make it less a little bit. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. So, and uh, the latest one, when uh, uh, one of our partners, who is a member of the council, presidential council, for uh, the promoting uh, the dev development of civil society and human rights, he appealed to the president and proposed just to, at last, uh, develop the open access policy, and the letter was uh, was passed to the Ministry of Education and Science, and the uh, the response was negative. So um, there are two big, quite big uh, open access libraries now, now in Russia. They are listed here. And as for institutional laboratory situation, 
is not that uh, optimistic because, you know, Russia has at least uh, 500 universities, actually about 1,000, but we've got only now only 29 um, institutional repositories. There used to be 61, but most of them have died. So, and one day three universities arrived uh, and uh, they proposed uh, just to develop the, um, to, um, um, to join all the efforts of existing repository and to develop the platform of the national aggregator. And the decision was made in Venice in September uh, uh, that we will uh, uh, implement this project and we decided to uh, submit an application to some fund and uh, it happened in half a year that uh, in March 2018 you see four directors, library directors have signed the, uh, the, an agreement. So what, sorry, so yes and we, mm, and we uh, submitted proposal, and this is the, uh, ju just to show you that it is online in Russian, uh, regretfully, and we got about uh, 100,000 of euros uh, to implement this, uh, this project. Uh, so um, we started. Uh, we've got technical goals, which are very simple, and I, I won't maybe just uh, repeat them because you can see it on the on this slide. And what is important, we've got educational goals because as this is, um, as actually this is a presidential fund and the presidential fund, the presidential fund is aimed of improving the social image of the government. So uh, uh, it was um, a necessity to uh, include some points which, uh, uh, just uh, work for the society. So what uh, what we do now, we are um, di uh, disseminating the knowledge and uh, we provide lots of seminars and I have to say that they are very popular and uh, we invite not only students, researchers and administration, but also we have a very um, good um, result with uh, uh, with students of high colleges. So we um, did presentation in Ta uh, Republic of Tatarstan is Kazan and it was okay. So this is just to show you how our website looks like. Uh, and now we've got uh, we developed search. This is quite simple and very standard. So I d won't go in details. And uh, everybody can read how to join. And the, uh, no, no technical requirements are very, very simple and very, very limited. So um, they are listed here. So everyone who, who manage, uh, meets these requirements can enter. And now we, are, um, we, we started with only three repositories, as I told you, told you already. And now we've got seven and five more on the way. And by the end of uh, this year, we, we have to have 12, but I almost sure that there will be at least 20. So um, w what about activities? As I told, we uh, um, put lots of efforts in dissemination and uh, teaching. So uh, first we started with the webinar and um, we provided all these trainings and as soon as I come back to St. Petersburg, we start uh, the one week training for trainers and we've got 120 registered participants. Uh, the countries are, are listed as well, but I have to say that these countries don't come especially for our um, OA uh, activities, but we also um, um, will also develop the project aimed at uh, information literacy, which is funded by uh, Erasmus Plus uh, um, and Europe, uh, European Union. So these are our very few results. We also, what, what did we do? We also translated the guidance 
of new generation repositories and adopted them to Russian environment. And I also sent uh, a link to Kathleen and hopefully, hope, hopefully it will be mounted on the our website with the links because I suppose that maybe soon Russian speaking community b will be in car as well as now we've got Spanish speaking community so and in this case it would be helpful so our prospects uh, they are not very ambitious we would like uh, to attract new members and we are thinking about also pro profiles we are thinking about considering uh, integration with ORCID. Uh, we are thinking about ID uh, identification and uh, about indexing in the World Scholar Harvesters. So this is the final, I suppose, not final, but uh, our, this is um, just schematic our roadmap. Uh, all these incomes and outcomes of our consortium, uh, how how we see our future so and hopefully and i am almost sure that of course why we are in the very beginning but we will develop because everything we do finally we do okay so and um yeah <laughs> that's true and finally of course i am very grateful to all people who help us in developing this project and to understanding the ideas because it was i suppose in the Second half of uh, 2017, when Irina Kuchma uh, um, connected me with Kathleen, and Kathleen asked you about how to help, uh, how to answer our questions. So all these people help us a lot. So thank you so much. And they, this is our team, mo mostly they're men, they are uh, IT persons, and they're trying a lot to develop our project. Thank you.